Hey, it's the Wine Wolf here. Gonna just go over the construction of the barrel room I made to protect the precious product, the wine. Uh, that's just the top up wine. It's actual the barrels that I wanna protect that are too big to fit in my wine cellar. So I need to protect the precious product as it's aging. So me, myself, I, and some friends can enjoy some fantastic wine. When the summer is upon us and the temperatures are going over 100 degrees, um, the wine will not survive in the garage. Even though there's some insulation in the garage, the thing will still get up to 90 degrees, which is not good for the wine. So I had to finish the barrel room before the summer was upon us. And as you can see, we are going through a horrible heat wave right now. But alas, the temperature is 61 right now with some good humidity so as you can see um, it is not meant to be a perfect uh, looking room that you can hang out with perfect drywall everything no it's just it's a place to age wine the cosmetic appearance was not of concern getting it finished before the heat was and it's doing its job beautifully so enjoy <music> the first wall built already I'm doing the framing right now and uh, yeah we will follow this along to make our nice insulated room because that's just too much product to let go bad because of summer heat that is coming all right I finished the back wall made it nice and sturdy added the California corners to uh, make it easy to attach to the side walls and also have a spot to hang the wood or drywall that I'll use. I put these uh, two boards in the middle to stabilize it because I'm doing um, 24 on center spacing. Um, this is not going to be structural, it's so it doesn't have to be the strongest thing ever, but I do want it to be sturdy so it's not wobbly. With that California corner over there, that's very stable. The sides are stable. Now the middle, these three studs in the middle are very stable, putting those, and I don't need to add any on the side. It's not going to be load bearing. This is mainly to create a wall that I can insulate to protect the wine. I've made the rough opening for the door, pre-hung door. Um, did all the correct measurements so we can get it plumb, have enough room for that. But uh, yeah, it's come together. So I got three walls built, oh, one more, and that'll be the wall that holds the uh, air conditioning unit to cool the space. We got the initial framing together. Just got to do the, uh, the top part now. I guess the joist or rafters. But yeah, I'll be able to fit a few barrels in here. I'm gonna build a shelf along the back wall. All right, just testing the air conditioner out. Got it all framed in. Got the door now. Yeah, even got the ceiling. It's time to do the drywall and the insulation and cleanup. We're getting close. Getting close. All right, we are ready to put the barrels in, get the temperature right. The room's not done, but I gotta get the barrels in because as you can see, the ambient temperature, 75. So it's gonna be set to a range of 64 to 67. I've already tested this bad boy out and um, it cools the room down quickly and it holds. So most of the work's done, but let's get them in and get them cooled because the days are getting hot. Got it going, I can already feel the air flowing nicely. It's already dropping down from 75. Now it's, it's, uh, it's not that big of a room. So it uh, doesn't take long to cool and it'll be easy to keep it cool. Got the weather stripping, insulated the door, drilled holes in it, and put foam insulation in there, the uh, expandable kind. I'm gonna put some more insulation on this part of the door too when the time comes. But for now, we got this right here that definitely took the hollow door and made it better. Oh, now we're at 73.3 in the span of less than 60 seconds. 
So, I don't, I can already feel it getting cooler in here. It's, oh, there it goes. Well, I walked away for about three minutes, probably two minutes to check on the lasagna and it's reached the proper temperature and as supposed to do, my controller cut the power to the air conditioner so it does not stay on forever. You know, so I just have to keep this on high cool. When the temperature goes, when it hits basically 67, it's a three degree range, it'll turn back on. So the next test is to see how long will this stay on before it has to kick back in. Um, and that will give me an idea of how much energy usage, even though this doesn't use much. But how fast will the temperature go up? There's definitely some further insulation we need to do, definitely around the ground and on the door, and that's definitely gonna help it. So I hope you enjoyed, um, for the most part, this video of making the barrel room. Um, there's still some finishing touches I have to do, but it's doing its job beautifully to protect the wine through the hot summer. Um, as you can see, I did keep enough space between the top and those rafters of storage, so it's not right up against it. Um, have a little walk around the corner to reach my second fridge, it's spaced further enough away that those doors can open. Um, yeah, my other workbench there. Things are a little cluttered right now, um, and uh, they will be organized later. But let's go inside. All right, close. So, sitting at a good temperature, 65 right now. Uh, I'm still going to be finishing some stuff inside, but you get the idea of its size. I got my variable tanks right here, variable capacity tanks. Um, so, eventually, when my new grapes come in uh, for ferment and those are ready for barrel. I will take the wine out of this barrel and put them in these variable storage tanks. Well, as you can see, me opening the door, it's let some heat in and it has kicked on to uh, get the temperature down. I did hang the temperature probe over here so it's not right next to the air conditioner to get a true um, temperature. And it's in a higher spot of the room where it's generally warmer than the ground. As you can see, the actual temperature is around 62 the lower you go towards the ground. So that's kind of a second um, gauge I use for an average temperature. Uh, but yeah, eventually I'm going to have these variable tanks all on top of here. Here's another one. One, two, three. I'll be able to sample the wine from them. The new aging wine will be in these barrels again. That wine will go in these stainless steel tanks for further aging. And um, yeah, so I'm able to produce a lot of product and keep it protected um, and temperature controlled. So yeah, like I said, still some finishing touches, um, but it's, it's doing the job. It is doing the job that I set out to do. So um, wasn't very hard to build just takes uh, some time and some elbow grease and uh, planning them.